back again for our 10k 100 day challenge we are catching up again and today we are doing six days six days six days that we are going to do the envelope stuffing for and tomorrow we are actually going to do a four week update i'm so excited that we're going to do a four week update because today is the 28th so today is the end of four weeks and so actually we are going to do day 23 24 25 26 27 and 28 i know this is exciting right and so i want you to get in your frame of mind that you can do it matter of fact repeat after me i can do all things through christ which strengthens me i don't want you to think oh this is getting hard matter of fact say repeat after me this is easy right? I want you to start saying this is easy. I want you to start saying I can do it. I am going to have 10k um, in cash by the end of the year. Not what you pay your bills, not the money you make, honey. I'm talking about, someone told me I already make more than $10,000. I said, this is not about how much you make. This is about how much you're going to keep extra after you paid your bills, after you've uh, committed to your responsibilities, after you've invested in your business, after you've done the things that you needed to do, this is extra. Amen. And again, you can set it aside for something. Some people are setting aside for a down payment for their house. Some people are setting it, um, it aside for a business expense or a business investment. Some people are setting it aside. They have all kinds of different reasons they are setting this extra money aside for. So you will have to make a decision what you're setting your 10K aside from. So let's go ahead and get started. So to, we're gonna go with day 23 first. So see the 23 at the corner. So 23 times two is 46. So in this envelope for day 23, we are gonna stuff $46. So we have a 20 here, 40, five and six. This $5 bill look a little rusty, don't it? But you know what? It all spins the same. So 40, 20, 45, six. So that's $46. And we are going to stuff it in our 23 day envelope. And then of course we are going to rip it. I hope y'all already doing this, right? And we're going to seal it super, super tight. And then um, actually we're going to stuff it in our um, envelope stuff for all at once, right? And then we have, I want to kind of put this down a little bit where y'all can see my cash. So we have day 24 because I already counted all of the money before and put all of the money on top of the envelope. So day 24, so 24 times two is 48, right? It's starting to get real. $48. And so we have 20. 45, 6, 7, 8. So that's $48 that we have that we are putting in day 24. And this is why I need you to start speaking over the money and speaking that you can have it and that you can do it. Because the, the more um, challenging they get, it's a challenge, right? That's why it's called a challenge because it can get challenging for some people. And I've had someone say, oh, $3,000 is a lot to save in a month. Who said you're saving $3,000 in a month? So we just sealed day 24. Let's go with day 25. Day 25 is easy, right? Day 25 times two is 50. So I just got a $50 bill. Boom, y'all. $50 bill that we are just going to put in day 25. So again, it's easy. Making money is easy. Saving money is easy. Investing money is easy. You're going to have to start speaking that it's easy so that it can be easy. Get a side hustle. Y'all know I'm always talking about getting a side hustle. And so we're going to seal it super, super tight. This was day 25. That is sealed. Stuffed and sealed. What day are you on? Put in the comment section if you reach day 25. Again, I know some of you only get paid once a week or once every two weeks. And this is why I'm showing you this week is for almost an entire week. It's six days, not quite seven days, but six days. Um, I've been traveling, been at all day conferences. It's been a lot. I took it with me, but I really just did not have 
time to do any videos. Um, well, I did. I did some footage of the conference, and I, I was even going to do a, a tour of my hotel room, and I didn't get a chance to. Um, but it's okay because I'll be doing a lot more traveling. And then that's another thing. Some of you might be saving this money for a trip, right? Where do you want to go? You want to go to Italy. You want to go, where, you know, you want to go to Dubai. We going to Greece next year. You want to go to Greece. You know, what are you doing this money for? So day number 26. So this is day number 26. And 26 times 2 is um, 50. Two, right? 26 times two is 52. So we are going to do uh, $52. Something just happened with my screen and it got darker. That was super weird. Uh, <laughs> I love technology. It works great when it works, right? So $52. So we have 20, 40, 50, one, two. So $52 we are gonna put in day 26. Are y'all keeping up with me? Stuff, 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 stuff. Keep stuff in those envelopes. Some of you may already, and someone told me earlier that she was already up to day 30. I was like, woo, woo, let's go. Let's make it happen. And so we ripped the seal off. And so we are sealing day 26. This is day 26 and it is sealed. We're putting that behind day 25. And let's go with day 27. 27 times 2 is uh, 54. So we have $54. So we have 27 up in the corner. That's right. And we have 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so if you have something really interesting and unique that you're doing with your 10K that you're saving up, let us know in the comment section. I'm very curious to know. I'm very curious to also know if you have been stuffing your envelopes. Are you keeping up with us? Are you still in the challenge? Put that in the comment section too and let us know. Remember to, if you like what you've seen so far, like, comment, share, join the party, right? And so we seal this, and this is day 27. We are almost done. We are on day 28, and so I'm super excited about that. And then, of course, tomorrow we'll be on day 29. Look, these days are going by. Can you believe it's almost October already? But it's okay, because guess what? We gonna keep stuffing in October, and again, look, I'm going to start doing more side hustle videos so that you could work on your increase. So this is day 28. And so for day 28, we need $56, right? And so we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56. So $56 that we are putting in day 28. So I'm I'm just tell, I'm just going to tell y'all I'm super excited and you if you are new to my channel please make sure you subscribe and give me that thumbs up because you like what you see but also look I need you to make sure that you stay connected stay connected uh, watch the video share this is day 28. If you have not shared any of my videos, make sure you're sharing some of my videos. So now we are gonna take the first three, day 23, 24, and 25, and we're gonna put this in our handy dandy envelope stuffer. Um, this, and we're gonna go ahead and do that. But yeah, definitely share this because who do you know that would love to save an extra $10,000 before the end of the year, right? And so I just want to encourage you because there is so much you can do. Once you start adding it up, you're like, and like I said, for some of you, $10,000 is really not a whole lot of money, but some of you, $10,000 is going to be life-changing, right? And so then we have, now these envelopes are a lot thicker than the other ones. So this is day 26, day 27, and day 28. And remember, 
those who complete this challenge, we have that special uh, gift for you where we want to um, invite you to a special private uh, 10K celebration uh, party that we're going to be having, 10K Success Day um, celebration. And so I just stuffed all of the envelopes that we just stuffed the six envelopes through today, through day 28, and our envelope stuffer. Then it goes in the fireproof safe until I bring it back out to stuff the other envelopes. So with that said, I'm so glad you joined me on today. I'm excited. I'm excited. If you are excited about this challenge that showed me that you watched it all the way to the end, put in the comment section, I'm excited. With that said, I'll see you later. It's me, Melanie, the book boss lady.